It was determined that she had a very, very bad disease, pulmonary artery hypertension. And it was related to her connective tissue disease that she had. And uh, we were lucky to get together because we have a pulmonary hypertension center in our office. And we, I've been taking care of pulmonary hypertension since 1989. And we were a good fit together. And she was the perfect patient. She always did everything I asked, and she was determined to be well. She became much more ill with her pulmonary hypertension, and we decided that it was time to look for transplant. Who comes into this wildlife knowing or thinking or believing someday that they would have to have such a major surgery like a transplant? But uh, he told me that, and I said, well, okay, well, let's get this done. <laughs> <laughs> And we uh, naturally came to partner with Norton in the Louisville region because Norton is the premier provider of health care in Louisville. And they understand what they need to do to provide basic care, secondary care, and much tertiary care. But they also know that they're not going to ever get into the really complex transplant business and they needed a partner. So through this partnership, we've brought, I think, a level of expertise to Louisville that might not have existed without this partnership. Dr. Hoops, who has... You know, I love working with a man because when he talks, the words that I was going to say come out of his mouth. And he's a very experienced transplant surgeon. So in May of 2012, we got together and said, you know, we need her taken care of. And he said, okay. He was committed to her as she was committed to getting better. That's a relatively unusual operation in this day and age. There are approximately 45 or 50 done in the country, largely for patients who have intractable heart disease because of their lungs or patients who have complex congenital anomalies that require both in the heart and lungs to be transplanted simultaneously. Uh, we were fortunate to get a very good donor, but I think even with a very good donor, it was a tough post-operative course. Um, she's kind of fought her way back through this for the last two or three months. and. I would say most of the nurses would almost think you're unrecognizable right now if they were to see you because you look so much better than you did. I'm just happy and privileged that I was able to go to that facility. It is one of the best in the country. And it's now the two year anniversary of having Chuck as our heart lung transplant director. During that period of time, we've gone from a relatively small heart lung transplant center uh, to one of the uh, larger ones in the whole region. Uh, more importantly, Chuck has changed the standard of care in the uh, management of lung failure patients. You'll be hard-pressed to find somebody that changes the whole practice of medicine and the way they do things, and Chuck has done that in Lexington. In the transplantation, we've uh, committed to making sure that there is a major transplant program in the state of Kentucky, because if there isn't a major transplant program, we think Kentuckians will suffer. If we didn't have this kind of program, I think it, might, it would have been that much harder for, for Dawn to get the care that she needed. Since the surgery, I feel like I have my mojo back on life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Things that uh, I wasn't able to do, being able to be with your family on Thanksgiving and enjoy laughing, playing cards and having fun, and helping your mother cook in the kitchen, I couldn't do. And uh, now I can do that this year. I'm so excited. It's, my life is refreshed because of the, the work that these doctors have done for me. And uh, I just, they don't understand how special they are to me and how special they'll always be to me for the rest of my life and my family. I'm just so happy to be living because I don't have to be. I didn't, I don't, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the work that they have done. And, uh, and I just appreciate God putting them in my life. Me and them, me and putting their life. I'm just happy.